Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night, as both great houses hold court and retain the right to rule their respective regions. KOTT news crews were on the scene at 11 to get a word from the winners in Monarch's Bluff. Well done out there tonight, Sturf. Uh, well fought, uh, well fought indeed. How do you believe everyone performed? Uh, it was great, man. That was like 25, 25 people we've never played against, so we didn't know what to expect. Uh, tried some new things, and yeah, they got a point pretty quick. Ah! Uh, but yeah, it's a good fight. Hats off to them. Turning to the weather, and while it's a beautiful morning all day long again, there are two chances of invasions early evening in Brightwood, before LARPCO, and late evening in Cutlass Keys, after. A record-breaking six official simulated fantasy combat resolutions tonight brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. First up, in first light, the Covenant forces of Young Money respond to the past aggressions of the Syndicate forces of Squirrel Scrubbers. Young Money leadership has decided that holding off the squirrels in the past may equate to conquering them here tonight. So they're going for it. For the squirrel scrubbers, maintaining control of the hyssop and spice markets are their top priority. Perhaps even greater than OSHA standards may allow. You guys need to get out of here. Like, you guys should be picking spices or something. Oh, sorry, Please. sorry about- Meanwhile, the Covenant forces of Kyoto Yohei assail the marauders of landlords in their efforts to adversely possess the restless shores. Covenant newcomer Kyoto Yohei takes their first shot at acquiring land by fighting in the mud of restless shore. Landlords have become more accustomed to the ever-present anarchy of the archipelago and are standing ready to evict yet another would-be squatter. Then, the Syndicate forces of Searing Void attack the Marauders of Landlords for control of the fishing port town of Reekwater. Searing Void make their second attempt to secure land on the island, having been turned away by the instigators two weeks ago. For the Landlords, maintaining a connection to the plentiful fishing hotspots and rapid access to Lazarus are sufficient cause to port block the hackers. As that unfolds, the marauders of We Are Bad will assert that claim upon the syndicate forces of Secrets for control of the bamboo forest preserves and medicinal hot springs of Ebenscale. The forces of Secret are refreshed from their last fight and ready to measure how bad this group of marauders truly are. On the off chance they meant bad meaning bad, not bad meaning good, this reporter had signed up for a press pass. I say had because I was reassigned to the next fight, where the Marauders of Dawnguard challenge the reigning heavyweight champs, Regime, for their title belt and the right to rule over Everfall. The Marauder powerhouse of Dawnguard steps up to be the biggest true contender to the championship belt since the most recent wave of refugees arrived on the island. For the champs, if they wish to retain their championship belt, and extend their own current Neverfall streak to 13. They'll need to bring their best, and they'll have to remember, when an unstoppable LARPCO meets an unmovable LARPCO, they yield to the heart of the contenders. In the nightcap, the syndicate forces of the Heme Team burgle the Marauders of Dawnguard for control of the financial capital of Winsworth. The Syndicate newcomer attempts to catch a split Dawn Guard unprepared for a quick smash and grab. The mental fatigue of the previous matchup may take a toll on the elite forces of Dawn Guard. They'll have 30 minutes to prove they can fight back to back. We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.